All right, I'm gonna show you how to open books that are normally just texts like Kindle, Apple Books, even books from your local library, um, and have them read out loud to you using an Apple device. So let's go into Kindle. And right now I have a book called AI Superpowers Open. And let's go to the settings, nothing that will help me read it out loud. Let's go to the text settings. Um, I can change the way the text looks, but I cannot get it to read out loud to me. So let me give you a little preview of where we're headed. I'm going to use VoiceOver, which is the built-in screen reader for iPhone. And I have a shortcut set up, which is the home button three times. One, two, three. VoiceOver on, Kindle, book actions menu. And now I'm gonna do a two finger swipe down and it's gonna start reading from the top all the way to the bottom. And when it gets to the bottom, it's going to switch pages and just continue to the end of the book. So let me put focus. I'm just gonna drag my finger on the bottom of the screen and then do that two finger swipe down. It's gonna start reading. And then again, when it gets to the bottom of the page, it's just gonna switch pages and continue reading. Perfect. But let's treat it like a real audiobook. You know, you don't have to have the screen on when you're reading an audiobook. So let's do that same thing with voiceover. It's called Screen Curtain. And when you have voiceover running, you can do three fingers three times. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Screen Curtain on. And the screen goes dark. And at this point, it's okay if you freak out because you just turned the screen off and you don't have a good way to control your phone without knowing how to use the voiceover screen reader. Um, so if at any point you're like, why did I just do this? Home button three times. One, two, three, home button. It turns voiceover, voiceover off. off and you have regular control of your phone. So it's pretty easy to turn on and off. Let's do that. Let's turn it back on. One, two, three. Voiceover on. Voiceover's on, the screen goes dark, but again, don't freak out. Three fingers, three times, and the screen curtain turns off, and you have your screen on, but you do still have voiceover running. So, uh, let's do that two finger swipe down. Billion. It begins reading. To yeah, that's good. If at any now point you want to stop voiceover from reading, it's two fingers one time. If I want to resume, two fingers down. Billion, and then doubled again to $26 billion in 2015. Two fingers to stop. Smart and so it's pretty easy controls. But let me show you how to get this set up. Let's go out of the Kindle app. Um, I have a box around the Kindle app because VoiceOver is running. But I'm going to do the home button three times. VoiceOver off. And now VoiceOver is off. I'm going to go into the settings app. Let's go down to accessibility and then all the way to the bottom to accessibility shortcut. You want that set to voiceover because that is how you do the home button three times and turn voiceover on and off. So now that we have that set up, I'm going to go into the Apple Books app. I have a book called Upstream by Dan Heath and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use voiceover to make it into an audiobook. So let's turn on voiceover with the home button. One, two, three on the home button. Voiceover now on. I have Books, voiceover. Library, I'm going to drag my finger around the text the to get it to where I want it to start cars. reading, and then two fingers down to Reserve begin reading. In hotel rooms or rental cars. Fifty-eight of them placed a call afterward for help. The primary appeal of an online travel site, of course, is self-service. No two calls fingers necessary. to pause. Imagine a gas station that. Uh, you might wonder, well, what if I want to adjust the reading speed because the voice is too fast or too slow? For that, I'm going to put two fingers on the screen and turn those two fingers as if I'm turning a knob. And then I'm going to keep Containers. turning until I hear it say speaking, speaking rate. rate. When I hear it say speaking rate, I'm going to swipe one finger up or down to make it faster or slower. 61%, 66%. 61%, 56%, And then to resume, I'm going to drag my finger until I get to the part where I want it to start reading. Moving upstream. And then two Problem fingers swipe down no to begin reading to their continuously. And Mude took their data to dark. So let's look at how to do this with free library books. I'm going to turn off voiceover with my three times on the home button. Voiceover off. Open the Libby app. And in the Libby app, you can download actual audiobooks. That's fine. But sometimes an audiobook is not available or it's six months wait. 
And so for those kind of books, like 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, you can get the ebook and then open it in the Kindle app. And that's actually what I did for this AI superpowers. That's what we started with. And it says read with Kindle and it just opens in the Kindle app. You can use that voiceover shortcut to read it just like an audiobook. I do want to throw some caveats out there. Uh, any kind of notifications that come in are going to disrupt the flow of the text. Also, locking your screen is going to disrupt the flow of the text because it's going to make voiceover stop reading and turn off. And then a third is that if you touch the screen while it's reading, even with screen curtain turned on, it's going to throw off that continuous reading. So let me go back to Kindle and just practice a little bit so that it all makes sense. Um, I do not have voiceover turned on right now, so I'm going to go back a few pages. I'm going to, go, going to go to the section that I want to start reading at, so I'm going to turn on voiceover. One, two, three on the home button. Voiceover on, Kindle. I do and not have, been conditioned. have screen curtain turned on. Um, so I can easily drag my the finger and find the spot where I want to start tackling reading. These problems will require a Two finger swipe down to begin reading. Tackling these problems and I can will require like a combination of clear analysis and profound philosophical examination of what matters in our lives, a task for both our minds and our hearts. And let's say that I want to conserve battery. I'm going to use the screen curtain to do that. Three fingers, three times. Screen curtain on. And then with the screen off, I can still drag my finger around and find the part where I want it to start reading. And then two finger swipe down. That we first understand how we arrive here. And at this point, we are in that continuous time, reading mode as a land of copycat companies and Silicon Valley stood proud and where it will read to the end of the book. Two black star copycats in the Coliseum, they called him the cloner. And that's basically what you need to know. If at any time you want to turn off voiceover, it's three times on the home button. Voiceover off and you're back to normal use of your phone. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this is useful. Thank you to Apple for embedding accessibility into their operating system. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.